No, they don't. Because if not, then they don't have advantage. Restrained is advantage. Yeah, target Grapple is Grapple is you just can't move. Oh, yeah. okay. Yeah, so that's a hit. That's Short me. Restrained. Ooh. And there's no save for the poison. Yep, that is just damage, and I believe my armor does not reduce that part, even if it's a separate roll, so I'm going to reduce yeah. three off the piercing. And then finally the scimitar. That's also a hit for nine slashing. Yep. And the other guys, the other guys is going to pummel you with bites and scimitar attack. Okay. Ooh, hit. Also a hit. And finally, the bites, which also hits. Oh, shit. There we go. Hey, there's all the damage I didn't take last time. Yeah. That's where it went. Yeah, remember when Whale suggested running? Yeah. Uh, meanwhile, the lizard men are just going to follow Lael. They're going to run at their full speed. Because <laughs> basically, they see, they see something running and go, like, yeah, I'm going to. But they don't run as fast as he does. Because they're, they're basically in a bloodlust right now. So, oh, well, they can reach you. So, yeah, basically, I didn't do like the full run last time. So, yeah. But again, you could have double ran. I know. I was hoping kicks would follow me. Oh, geez. And we could have a like a wall here just in case. Yeah. So, Kix, you are restrained. You can, uh, you can fight. You don't have any penalty to fighting, but as long as you're restrained, they have advantage against. Right. This is a, a little bit too much at once to deal with, so I will go ahead and try to break out, and that is a... That will what be your check action. am I actually athletics. rolling? It's uh, athletics. Athletics, athletics. Uh, against 14. Oh, wow. I just rolled terribly. Ooh. Yeah. Uh, there is not much I can do about that. Kix just becomes eaten because of his, the first failed athletics roll he's ever made. <laughs> Shit. I don't believe there's any other options he has. There was no resting after that fight. He's just there. Well, so Gar to campaign session zero. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Gar moves five more feet, and that's all he does. He starts stretching his hands. But he sees he's trembling. He's and there's something that is either holding him back or it makes it very difficult. In fact, he's he's ignoring all the attacks here. He just he's just going for it. Uh, just got to get to the snake for some reason. So Hugh and Barakat in that order. Okay. Wait, to, wait, hold on. What do you want me to do? Oh yeah, what are you gonna do with here over there? So never mind. Because I'm not uh, this is ridiculous. I'm not gonna I'm just gonna disengage. And now I'm gonna double run. Let's see him catch me at a hundred feet. I think I get out of this like map into a different map at this point. Yeah, you go up upstairs. Yeah, wouldn't Close. be one hundred and five feet. One hundred feet. Well, yeah, but I mean five feet for the disengage. Disengage no, doesn't it's, give you it's, that. That's third edition rule. Is it yeah. okay? Yeah, I've never so, actually so, done it. So it's actually eight. It's eighty feet from uh, where the lizard folk were. So yeah, let me put you in the other map because uh, yeah, they should be out. Uh, Okay. Um, while you're moving maps uh, on Hugh's turn, Hugh will look back at Barricat. It's like, go. The fight's not done here. You saw what happened. How about you just grab him? Go. <laughs> Honestly, I was hoping Hugh was going to look back at Barricat and say, double lariat. <laughs> uh, and then I'm going to do the... And then I'm going to get my cat to give me advantage, and I'm going to try and knock him unconscious again. If they move five feet, I think there's an opportunity attack as well. Uh, nope, not moving in. And I stayed within range. Okay. Actually, yeah, there would have been an... an oh, yeah, thank you cat. for the clarification. No, my you were still... On, no, you were, we can't see the other map, so... I think it okay. means that Gar moving forward five feet would... Well, would I, yeah. would I still be in your range, though? Mine, yes. My but cat. not the not the cat, no. Yeah, the cat. Uh, yeah, yeah, but the shield is still up, so that's but fine. Would have to deal with the shield on the attack, but yeah. Yep. I mean, if you have a chance, sure. I'm just letting you know that you still have to beat 25. I'm fully aware. I'm fine with that. So close. Oh, close. oh, oh, oh so close. Good uh, kitty. Uh, um, 
Okay, in that case, Hugh is going to be going. I cast shield? No, because that was the, the same last... round. Yeah. That was the yep. same round. My turn oh, hasn't come back game. around yet. Sure. Yep, yep, yep. yep. Uh, this um, is Hugh's no, final no, savagery. It would have had to have been, because I moved. Yeah. yeah. So I cast shield again. Yeah. Okay, and so in that case, this primal savagery is dealing with the shield, which makes it 25, correct? Mm-hmm. Yep. Mm, that might change things. But no, because I have the advantage. The advantage How is what's going to do... What's going to help. I'm keeping track, don't worry. 19. Mm -hmm. And again... I said what I said. What what I said to Barricat. That's my turn. Barricat. Okay. Uh. Well. Not a ton I can realistically do here. Did Layla go upstairs? By the way. Yes. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> the, the pets keep screwing up my, my wires here. I'm so sorry. Yeah, there's... Like, I literally can't hit him, even if I tried. Then go! So, I'm gonna... Take my cat, well, I... he's been told to guide you, and get out of here. Well, you can see in the dark, so... Realistically, no. you're thinking, like, what, one more turn, and then I touch through it? through the jungle. Two but... more. But, but like he's dealing with foot. jungle, and he's a panther. But also just physically block him. I just mean five foot, and I'm in touching range. So, like again, he has said what he what he said. This is this is all Justin. This is all Justin. Yeah, I don't want to. He is severely wounded. I'll tell like, you. Like you don't want to grab Hugh and like Dimension Door. Uh Hugh will fight it. You were so up for it before. Hugh will fight it. He has to be willing to... Oh, you can't make like a, a saving throw and force somebody oh. through? Okay. I don't think so. You can't, like... Even if you can, uh, it's probably wisdom. Yeah, they, they have to be willing, no matter what. Uh. Hugh is saying no. Great. This is amazing. But the cat is saying yes. <laughs> yes, the cat is being told to keep you safe and guide you through the jungle. I'm 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 muting. Can't even fucking get off the bridge. Oh, that's so bad. All right. Is the cat a panther? Okay, I pick up okay. the cat. So the cat is a change cat. It can yeah. be a kitten or a panther. I pick up the cat in whichever form it is. It's currently panther. Yeah, and you're too big to ride it, aren't you? He could, ca he could carry the weight. It just wouldn't be an, an easy mount. Would yeah. be the thing. Well, I was just thinking you'd move faster if you were riding it, but it's like, wait, you're medium size. It's medium size. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If it turns into a regular cat, though, I can just sprint. Oh, it, uh, I'll see what it takes to do that, but it's a. Uh, uh... I don't really have to like grapple it. Yeah. You won't have to grapple him anyways. He's going to go with you. So it, he won't resist any movement. Yeah, it's a bonus action. All right, yeah, that's it. Okay. So the Yanti, the Yanti upstairs. Here's the fun part. Mm -hmm. Uh, bite and two attacks. Uh, two uh, scimitars. So the one they have one that has a grab. Bite. That's a hit. Mm -hmm. 
and scimitar. Get in there. Ooh, and there's the crits. How are you doing? Ooh, yeah, one more, and I think you're out. No, I'm I'm already out. Yeah, you basically you get hit, and instead of having a slash, you see that he gets he reverses, and with the pummel, just smashes against your snout, and you're like, and everything goes dark. Yep. Ooh. Uh, that yeah. is my turn afterwards for death save. Mm. Um, I'll does, just roll that yeah. real quick. Yeah, because then they're, they're, they're not killing; they're slavers. Oh no, I'm, I'm still alive. Yeah, no, you're you're, you're fine. Yeah, you're not fine. you're not dead. I mean, you but... don't want to drown on your own blood. Uh, Leo, you're running, and they they're following you, but you know you're gonna outdistance them eventually. Yeah, so I'm assuming I get out of the temple. Yeah. Uh, Hugh. Okay. It is now just down to me and Gar. This is where Order of Operations doesn't save you, because if I didn't move first, then my shield spell is still up. Yeah, you move five feet. And he's just right there, oh. like, fingers Does he are, move? Like, yeah, fingers are just sort of... Okay, that's fine. That, that, that's actually good for me. Which means you get op attack, and then you get a normal attack. That misses. Uh-huh. And then Some I'm advantage. going to use use my long. Uh, no, I don't. My advantage ca ca came from having an ally within five feet. Yeah. Yeah. No, it's not you, son of a bitch, because you're whipping me. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. At the same time, though, I'm behind. You're behind me, which means you're whipping a shell. Come on. Eighteen. Nope. Even without a shield, that's nothing. Oh, do I have anything else I can do? Nothing. Don't have inspiration. You know what? Yes, I do. I go right there. You stand between it and the. Uh, and... Okay. I mean, literally, one, you're small, and two, oh, I reach over here. Oh, I got it. Yeah. That 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 may be the case. That doesn't stop me from doing it. Okay. So this is one of those nerd moments, right, where you're like two hands against the chest, braced. Stop, guard. Stop. Uh, one hand, thank you, and one is. One is against the snake, because uh, I've spoken to the snake before. I was ready for you to go whirlwind with the other one. Parakat, <laughs> <laughs> you are, are moving. I uh, can make it to the door, basically, and a little yeah. bit further. Yeah, so all the action is here. Gar is going to move. He sees you're there, so he moves to the side. Do you agree the skeletons were to help me? And, and he touches the snake, and the snake starts writhing. As you see, sort of like things that are, you see the the triangular sort of start spinning, and and sort of like tendrils of dead flesh start. I have a question. Moving into the uh, into the snake, yeah. As a reaction, can I put my hand on the snake to help take some of the load? Uh, you touching the snake is not going to do anything. Uh, but Moya would love you. I'm going to try. I'm still going to try it. As a reaction, I'm going to put both my hands on the snake to try and help it. Don't know if it'll do anything. You touch but... it, and it's right, it's raving back and forth. I, and I'm, like... ju I'm just holding it. And in and Gar, you see the distance that the uh, the figure that, you know, the, the 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 floating figure in the, in the spiral sort of kind of snaps awake. It was sort of reading a book and snaps awake. And then you see a bunch of the, uh, the, the people that were followers, right? They start congregating around it. And he looks around and he looks in your direction with a hollow I was like, what have you done? What have you done? And you see that the, the, the snake sort of shoots up into the air and disappears. And these hunts, and they start doing this creature and, this, and he's just pushing him back and casting spells and you know one spell just rips through their number and with lightning bolts and fireballs but they just they keep coming more and more and more and you see her saying now's your chance Gar you can be stubborn and be a slave until you die or you can free yourself Maybe you can find a way to find and bring me back. 
But if you do so, I'd like to meet a man that is free from his bonds. I'm not a slave to others. I tell you, death has made you a lot more snippy. Death has made me see the, the truth of many things. <laughs> it ripped away the veil of the living, the self-delusions, and the lies. Like I said, I cannot lie. I can hope, though. That's the one thing Orcus has not taken from me yet. Emphasis on yet. My problem is I'm not sitting in silence because I don't recognize it's my turn to act. It's, I'm sitting in silence because there's so many thoughts going through my <laughs> real-life head. <laughs> One, there's an agreement that I don't know that I hasn't isn't being made. Two, I'm pretty sure a third party is still able to save me, or not, if not save me, to stop me. Three, I, I told Griff this on the side. They're mocking me for being smart, but at the same time, I still think that same smartness is going to save the day, and that my plan is still moving forward, despite the facet that it looks like I'm dying. And four, I'm willful as fuck, and I will die on this hill to save my family, and I will not give them up. So if if it's like, oh, you're not a man, I'd rather have a real man than a slave, and we're like, well, you've got a slave because I'm going nowhere, baby. <laughs> <sighs> this is the way you kill Gar. Not with deck saving throws or AC checks, but RP. <laughs> I was holding on to something actually. The the, the she says basically this is your only chance and it might be my only chance. Everything that you talked about before has been a lie. Either you told it to yourself or you've been told by others. Convenient bombs for the past. But a free man has true intent. The very intent you said that you didn't have before. You could save yourself and maybe, just maybe, save me. If you really care, as I care about you. Save yourself. And then come back for me. Can I do one last thing uh, yeah. before I actually decide on an action? Okay, fine. Uh, something else that I've also mentioned on the side. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, that of all possibilities of all possibilities to exist this that i'm talking to and be uh, interacting with right now being real is one of many it's only one of many the entire possibility exists that this is all just a trick to keep gar occupied while they do something with his body roll a will saving throw dc 19 God. Do it in one shot. Say, if somebody hadn't made me use up that crit that I had a second ago. <laughs> Damn it. Could have just failed the first one, my guy. Yeah, could have been dead. Yeah. Instead of, oh, well, dead, I guess. I could help you. I know you're trying to fight this. All right, so I don't recognize that it's not not real. The double real, as they call it. Yeah. <laughs> Welcome to Inception, part two. Yeah. We're Wait. beyond Inception at this point. I look over at Orcus, a train hits him. I have no idea what the fuck's going on. <laughs> and the old train falls on the on this car and like, lands on his head. Then Hurricane Vecna pulls out an assault rifle and it's like, what the fuck? And then we start getting into time loops, you know? Just, just watch out for the top. So yeah, you see, I guess. And you see that the, the wall is sort of moving slowly, and you hear the, the a chime. Uh, 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 you remember, you know this chime. It's a it's a, a metal chime from the triangulars, right? Like and getting uh, uh, like somebody like a dinner bell, like ling 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 ling, and it's moving. And wherever it's moving, gets uh, obliterated. And you see Orca sort of look in this direction, like. And Mendo has a goat's head for a demon. He and goes, and clearly can see a, what the fuck? Yeah, no, <laughs> see is. Yeah. I'm recognizing all three aspects of the, the beings that are being affected and which one's currently in control. And 
I guess I look over at Orcus, and I shout, Orcus, I wish to parlay! And he snorts, and he sort of jumps and he lands right beside you. He, I mean, he has both a... You can do an insight on Orcus. I'm going to allow an insight on Orcus. I love it. I mean, I'm no Braith. Yeah, um, funny. while this is going uh, on, uh, uh damn you. GM, I'm gonna send you my next turn. Okay. Because I don't want to say it out loud. So, yeah, I mean, he looks angry. Very angry. But then you never seen him. This is the first time you met Orcus face to face, so you have to compare yeah. one of the very beast, very large, you know, and he is, you know, he towers over you. He is huge. It's not like we've ever been at a party together. <laughs> what? You want mortal? Do you but have... he, of his eyes sort of dart. You represent one third of the controlling aspect of my body. At the end of the day, though, it is still my body. Put me back in the fight, and I can ensure that they don't. Achieve their goals and usurp your own. And he looks, and the wall keeps getting closer. It's like, this is, uh, you do not understand. I will not be consumed by that thing. You are a very lucky mortal this day. I will give you what you need. But you must do exactly as I say. And they, you still have the kill switch. And they stay with me. For now. They stay with me. For now. Make a will save. What's the target this time? Still DC-19. Dad, you ate my luck, Bearcat. Yeah, yeah you you know, the, the this... Just get... You good. hear basically what it's a commanding... You kind of recognize where it comes from, and it's an ancient power indeed. You're like, yeah, uh... It, uh it, 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 sure, uh, uh, you know. Yeah, okay. Uh, he says, they stay with me. I'm like, they stay with you. So he basically tells you, it's like, grasp your destiny and crush the triangulus with the hand. And you, and you alone, will be free. A fair bargain, I believe. I feel like this is the movie moment where I look back at Erica. And I assume the look on her face is both dis equal parts disappointment, anger, revulsion. Yeah. And at the same time, Gar, with the camera goes on Gar, Gar, hope. Hope and love is all that's on Gar's face. And <laughs> the mouth, I'll come back for you. And, and looks back at Orcus and says, I agree. No, I will help you. And he extends his his uh, his uh, you know, wand, and you saw the army of of undead right there were behind. It's just they just rush. It's a it's an undead rush. So you have the undead rush clashes with the uh, with the with the group of people are trying to grab at at Vegna as Vegna is sort of blasting them away, and the wall is also coming and and literally disintegrating anything that touches. So it's almost like a, you know, like a triangle. It's like the wall coming like that, the rush coming like this, and then the fight in the middle. And you, and you are kind of beneath. You see yourself beneath it, like you know, like uh, you're holding this sort of like reaching out to to this whirlwind that is disappearing. It's being, it's not disappearing. It's going to be pulled into the hand. You going, you basically, you leap into your own body, and you find yourself in front of the snake. And you know you're fighting it, and there's the hand, right, the uh, left hand, and the triangle is sort of spinning wildly and doing the chiming thing. Uh, 
what do you do? Well, I'm assuming that the uh, left hand is still reaching out to the uh, yeah, it's still reaching. It's, it, 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 it's 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 you know embedding itself into it, sort of pulling it in. So yeah, I and guess now, I you, reach you with the triangulus with my right hand. No, it has to be with the left hand. So, well, I mean, I can still snatch it off of my body with the right hand, right? It won't. It's like, uh, uh, you know, you have to pull the le left hand and crush it with the left hand. Because you realize now that these are not merely magical artifacts. They are artifacts. And only one artifact will cancel it, the other. Do, I have, at least do I have control of the left hand? I mean, you can pull it out, yeah. Yeah, well, then it's I don't right, know. right now it's better. You, you, you pull it out and, and you grab it and you, you crush it? Yeah. Okay, as you crush it, the, the triangulus becomes liquefied, like liquid metal, and starts burning into the hand. I shove right? it into the blood. Huh? I shove what? the hand into the blood. Yeah. And, and basically, the, the, but the, as you shove it in the hand, the, the blood starts to boil. Uh, and then they, the, but it continues, the metals keeps eating into the hand and eventually the hand just sort of sloughs off and falls into the blood and just boils away. Okay, and right. both the triangulus and the hand just sort of melt away and you're, you're left with the stump. And because you're left with the stump, you go unconscious. Because now you realize it's the second time you had, you lost a hand. Like, uh. God, it's going to take forever for me to find another hand of Vecna. I mean, you're... Oh. Hey, I mean, your hand is my here. Turn, my turn's very different then. Yeah, and and the snake, and now you see that the 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 runes start, you know, tearing apart. Like the magic is disappearing finally, and this snake starts pulling the chains. And one, this chain right here just gets pulled right off. You know that in a few moments, this snake is going to be completely free. So, on my turn. Mm -hmm. Gar, Gar, Gar can wait around. I, I'm, I, uh, I'm going to touch the snake, and I will use my last first level spell slot. Seven points of healing. I mean, the snake wasn't really dead. That's perfectly so. fine. But I saw that Gar touched him. Uh -huh. And hurt him, so I will reach out and I will look him in if I can meet his eyes. I, I mean, will catch thrashing wildly, try to get out of the. the oh, completely! The... It's just if I can. Yeah, I will gently place my hand, keep a hand, and heal it. Okay. So you don't see her doing their thing. So everything now is here. Leo is keeps running, and eventually yeah. you leave the 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 the, the crazed. Uh, Lizardman behind. Uh, Kicks. Well, will we do in a moment? Um, Since I'm going upstairs. Do I see Kicks? Uh, no. Okay. Right, eventually, you get to the middle and the center of the plaza where the uh, elementals were, everything, and there's nobody here. There's blood. You could try to trace, uh, follow the blood. Yeah. That's a pretty nasty fight. Seems recent, right? And yeah, and you see, uh, also you see a walkie the, the strange oh, weapon well, there. Right. Uh, yeah, so yeah. it's there as well, yeah. I pick up the sword and I start following the rail, I guess. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so, Gar is unconscious, and another, another chain breaks, this one chain breaks. What are you going to do, Hugh? I'm going to, uh, with a second level spell slot, uh, cast Goodberry. And I'm going to force feed Gar a single Goodberry. It heals some of his wounds, but he's still unconscious. Not no, hungry. it gives him one health, which would bring him back up. It, he doesn't... What, what he put him unconscious is not entirely uh, physical. Let's put it that way. In shock. In that case, can I tell how long until he is conscious? Well, 1d4. No, actually, no, you can't, because his eyes are rolled back. I mean, he should be calm, because his eyes are open, but they're rolled back. And he's like, oh, and he's sort of babbling. Okay, so if that's the case, what Hugh is going to do, and this, this, will, easily, this will cover his next round, 
but th this is going to be this is going to be Hugh's hur hurrah for the campaign. He is going to give hit, uh, Gar uh, all but one of these good berries. I didn't mean to click that. Yeah. Uh, let's see how many total that is. That will be a total of nine health. Mm -hmm. And uh, he is going to look at the snake. And then he is going to turn into an animal and quietly leave this space and go off into the jungle. Okay. He is done with this group. After seeing this, he cannot handle lies. He he is done with the group. He loves them, but he can't do it. Okay. I can't wish we meet him here in five years and the rest of the entire world lies. That's yeah. the thing. He's found something that doesn't lie. Fighting. And this is where he can do it. Do you know what causes fighting? Lies. That may be the case. But yeah, no. Hugh goes off into the jungle to become a gorilla fighter. He'll find a new animal companion. Probably. Gorilla. Or realistically, he won't have to. Because Berlois, Ber Berlois can do his job and then he'll just find them again. Yeah. Yeah, so Hugh slinks off, in, off into the forest as a panther. Yeah, the final chain breaks. And as, you, as you're Slinging back, right? This creature sort of stands up like a like a giant cobra. Actually, I will wait for 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 the chain to break. Okay. He and then up. I will he turn up. after it does that and leave at the same time. Okay. It looks down at Gar. It looks down at you. It's like, would you do me a favor, of taking your garbage out? Yes, I shall. Thank you. And yeah, I'll bring Gar out. I will leave him outside in a spot where he is hidden. And uh, just before I leave, I also say thank you. If we meet again, I wish to have good tidings because I'm I'm planning on staying and staying in this jungle. It laughs, and, and and this is one of the most evil laughs you ever heard. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm fully aware. <laughs> this is not a good creature whatsoever. Yeah. And instead of it basically just, uh, jumps into one of these mouths and, and these tongues and just crawls into them and just you don't know where it leads, but it's it is going that way. Yeah, but no, this was too traumatic for Hugh to be able to 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 ever trust the group as a whole ever again. Okay. But who's gonna who's gonna save kicks from reading books? <laughs> So, Kix, you wake up, well, a couple of hours later. Okay, before we do this, eventually, uh, Hugh is leaving. So, yeah, I guess he's going to create a new character. Oh, uh, I already have it made. I just have to do a, do a level up. Okay. Uh, Leo, uh, you're outside. And... Um, I don't know what barricades. Oh, everybody seems to have dropped from 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 row twenty for some reason. Well, happened some, happened uh, on my side. It happened on my yeah. side. And everyone came back, so give it a minute. And you'll... Yeah, same All thing. Right. So uh, you're following, and uh, you end up in this chamber here at the beginning of this chamber. Map. Actually, no. Yeah, another map because there are a lot of maps here. Okay. So let me put you there. Um, I do not see anything. Yeah, yeah, don't worry, bud. Cool. I just have to put you there, so... Yeah. We're still at the edge of this map, so... Right? Where are you on this map? In which map you were left? Uh, oh, you uh, you went over the edge of the map. That's why. Yeah. Mm, there we are. Hey, who are you talking about? I fell off the edge of the world, huh? Yeah. <laughs> so you're here. Uh, this is no. This is not the map. All right. 
I keep confusing the maps. Oh, boy. So you are here. Uh, still on and, the black screen. Yeah. Oh, okay. Oh, I can see now. Yeah. I can't see anything. Oh, wait, never mind. I lied. Oh, God. The whole thing. Yeah. And the trail continues on, right? So. <laughs> Go figure that. I guess it was more trails button. Jesus, I guess the question is, to? yeah, where where did Bearcat run to? Did he leave the building, go down a different path? Yeah, he's on this corner of this map right here. Um, I, was saying, I don't know what this map is. It's Bearcat right, right, right. somewhere new. Oriented, like, yeah, where where has he gone? Yeah, this is a new map, so. Yeah, it's a new map, right. And you see a lot of water here, and the blood trail continues in this direction. Okay. So they, they drag them off. Uh, well, I guess this was where we attempt to be sneaky as we hmm. follow. Does it go down or left? Give me a moment. Uh, oh, you see what you can see there. So uh, you can either go uh, the, let me see, uh, the trail, they're really not covering their tracks. Yeah, it goes uh, left. Okay. I guess I'll kind of peek around this corner without going fully into it. Uh, where from here? Uh, keeps going to the left. Okay. There's a little bit of water you can cross it here. You see that the, there's blood platter here. A little bit, so, yeah. Can I try and, like, just jump over the water? Yeah. Make less noise? Cool. I have to make an, uh, an athletic check. I don't know. What's your yeah, strength? Actually, uh, not very good. It's a yeah. whole eight, but I don't remember how. I mean, it's like 10 feet, right? Yeah, 10 feet. So, with a, a running start, I don't remember. Is it the full number or? Mm hmm. For a running start? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, so I can just about, I think. Because it's technically a little less than 10 feet. Um, I'm guessing it goes up the stairs? Yeah. Cool. Let me just do some measurement. Okay. I'm going to try re-logging into roll 20, because mine just slowed down a bit. Is this area lit? Yes, it is lit. So are you going to try to hide, or are you just going to come out of, out of the... You hear something, you hear a voice uh, talking. Do you know Draconic? Still, still do not at all. Okay, no, you, they're speaking. I mean, it's a you recognize some of the, the thing because you heard them speaking this yeah. tongue before, but uh, and they're uh, um, the kicks you wake up with one hit point, you're here. So let's give you uh, one hit point, yeah, whole one, yeah, one and and your torch is right there, and this is what you see. And there's one of these snake like women, and she's speaking in Dracon, it's like. Oh, so you brought me one of them. Good. Are you awake, my little pet? Uh, who do I have the pleasure of entertaining this evening, ma'am? 
Mm -hmm. uh, a, a servant of the gods. Oh, oh, someone pleasant and noble. And Kix is like slowly trying to sit up. Is he actually yeah. like coiled and grappled right now, or has he just like been sprawled on the ground? You're enough pounds up, but you see these two creatures, and one of them hand on. Yeah, you're not going anywhere. All right, uh, Kix will just sit up and but not attempt to resist. Then, ah, well, more specifically, then, how about a name? I'll have your name first, since you are my uh, <clears throat> guest. Very well, then. I am Baron Kix the Shield. You can call me Larama. Very well, then. So, to what do I owe the pleasure today? I would ask you that, since you seem to have intruded upon our temple, slain our people, caused quite a ruckus. Exactly what were you doing here? Well, I wish I could fully explain, but maybe I don't entirely understand myself. But from the gist of what I've been seeing, there is a very large pool full of blood and a very large snake that didn't seem to like it. And also some strange people with some triangular symbols. Who seem to be very interested in it. Who weren't Yonti at all. Very interesting. Don't you think? Interesting indeed. I just received a message from their <clears throat> erstwhile human allies. Or ally, I suppose. Friends of but I, I take it you slain him? Hmm. Hicks actually like legitimately starts to think and goes, I'm actually not sure anymore. He did fall in battle. But there's more to it. And I'm confused myself. I could use my charms to try to give you the story, but I will give you the opportunity to tell me the truth. Would you be so kind as to describe exactly what happened in the god chamber? I suppose there's no harm in doing so. When we went down, we engaged in battle. Both the strange eyeball man and the, I suppose, wizard both fell in battle. And once they did, one of my companions decided to take it upon himself to rip off his hand and then disappear. But before he did so, he did so with a voice that was not his own. And I am a bit deeply concerned for his safety. I don't suppose that makes any sense to you, does it? And when you see you just like, excuse me, which hand did he rip off? I think it was the left one. And she says something in... You don't recognize the language. It seems like a human language. We don't... It seems some kind of curse. <clears throat> Moron. And what happened to the... Uh, hobgoblins, I think? That these men brought with him? Where are they now? Hobgoblins? I don't yes, seem to remember the, any. The legion that he brought with him. The forces they're in. Oh, I remember back home there's a legion. They're, they don't have to be out here too. No, it's not a good time to lie to me. I have been very accommodating. For once, I healed you. For two, you're, which is still talking. What happened to the legion of hobgoblins? Oh, well, um, obviously, if I didn't see them, that they simply aren't there. Okay. Uh, make a saving throw. Yeah. Which one? Suggestion. Uh, she's going to suggest to oh, with speak, them again. speak the truth and nothing but the truth. All right. Kix will then go ahead, of course, go all spooky eye, and um, <clears throat> we negotiated with them. They have gone back to the moon gate, and they will wait there until such time that we can release them back to their home. No use to us anymore. What? And back up, by the way, you're hearing this because they're not, you know, their voices are carrying. Yeah. Uh, what to do they're with talking. you? What to do with you? Hmm. I suppose we'd give enough time, I could uh, 
make something of you. Well, I suppose if we're all speaking the truth, honestly, the best action for you would probably be to ransom me back to Greyhawk. I'm sure that they would pay handsomely for that and probably assist your own little political war here, which seems to be currently in a very strange balance. And without your current allies, you might need additional assistance of some kind, presumably if you go through with a plan of some kind. And Kix just like starts rambling like the most logical, tactical thing to do. Because and, she, and she truth. puts a, hand, a finger in your, in your now like... <laughs> That's enough. That's enough. <laughs> yeah. Is this the only reason why you're here? Hmm. Well, I thought I was here for simple reasons. I was just here looking for a friend. Oh, really? Instead, Ooh, oh, 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 oh. confusing. Who is this friend? It's like Kenny Willie tries to remember the name again. It's like, oh, I should have written it down. Uh, I was. Hmm. I want to roll in just to see if Kicks actually remembers. Yeah. It's like, oh yeah, uh, my friend Barricat's master. I don't remember the name offhand right now. He keeps slipping my tongue, quite honestly. Why do we think he would be here? To be honest, I really haven't a clue. I think maybe they are getting dreams and visions of it. Which seems like sketchy evidence at best, but, well, if they're willing to put so much on the line for it, I have no reason not to trust them. They're my friends, and I only wish them the best. And if this is what they think is true... That's, that's fine. That's fine. That's enough. I do not need your opinions on the situation, only the truth. Now, again, what made you think that they were here, either in this temple or in this city? I believe it was either Gar or Barakat himself who had a recent vision and specifically decided that perhaps they were... At a location to the north, but along the way, we actually decided to stop at... Is this the same temple? It doesn't look quite the same. I don't remember this on my way down. Is there well, any... If it's not this one, then not the one that I was previously just moments ago. Is there and any... We decided oh, to stop there briefly for some questions. That's, that's, that's fine. That's fine. Hmm. Uh, back, go ahead. Is there yeah. any cover on this bridge? What do you mean cover? Like, do they have walls? No. Okay. Yeah, that's well, pretty exposed there. Yeah. How far are you? Like 80 feet? Yeah, that's a, that's yeah, a bit. I, I can't make the jump either. It's like 20 feet. Also, the water is much deeper here. Yeah. Clear. So, to get there, I would have to go like this. Which is like a billion turns. Yeah. So I'm just kind of watching and waiting for some kind of opportunity to do literally anything. So, what is this location to the north that you were interested in? Could you describe it? Uh, I wouldn't know very much myself. Merely that they said that they would follow the green lights up to there. Or are they blue? I think they were green. Oh, interesting. I think it may have actually belonged to a different faction than the one that we attacked at the pyramid then. And to be clear, was. That's your faction, correct? It's complicated. Oh, I understand. You might be of some use as well to me. Since after all, you decimated my forces. Well, our forces. Uh, you owe me. So, I find me myself in enviable position to having to help you. If you're willing. Help me? All right, yeah. well, now I'm very confused. Please, what's on your mind? I'm now curious. Well, in this location, there's a certain something that we have been trying to get rid of for some time. We have contained it, but we haven't been able to get rid of on account of the recent unpleasantness in this region. Mm -hmm. But you have proven yourself to be strong. <laughs> hardy to a degree and capable I would be willing I guess my bad adjustment but I would be willing to point you in the right direction if you swear to me and of course 
I will send some of my men to make sure you make this happen anyway, but you know. Uh, that when you reach this location, regardless of your own intentions, you would uh, dispel this creature's wall. Hmm. I see. Well, nothing here seems quite as though it should remain, so I suppose were we to go there, that would happen one way or another, wouldn't it? I don't necessarily see the immediate harm in it. Let me put it this way. First of all, you're not in a position to buy again. Oh, I know. Uh, second, uh, considering all the devastation you have brought to my temple, our mm -hmm. temple, the secretion, the murder, the slaying, theft, etc., 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 I have within the rights to just cut your head off and punt it into the water, but I will not do that. Yeah, or I could feel restraint on your part, <laughs> yes, of course. And uh, or I could use you to create something stronger, better, and more controllable. But that takes time, patience, and I'm running out of that, as you might imagine. So, do we have a deal? Hmm. I suppose, in light of other options, we do have a deal. I do have to ask you before I send you up, because otherwise. Do you think your uh, one of your companions is capable, shall we say, <sighs> using divine magic? Let's see. Or I believe one of them is can actually, or uh, uh, can be a wizard of some sort. I, I oh, that too, it. but. Um... Well, if you've expanded it so far, then I believe the answer is certainly yes. Hey, then. Oh, no. Nah. Well, I will send one of my acolytes with you. They might be able to do this. You are to ensure that she survives and carry out submission. I see. And as I go, then, what can you tell me about this creature? If you want it done, I should at least know what it is. What you need to know is that she is very cunning, powerful, and practically immortal. The only way to defeat her would be with our assistance. Hmm. Incredibly difficult task. Well, this will be fun. Well. Um, so you agree? Yes. Okay, more of these... Uh... <laughs> uh, go ahead. Ooh, is there going to be a special action about to happen? Yeah, basically, you are, you meet, everybody meets outside. Um, I'm Except curious about one mm -hmm. thing, actually. Go ahead. Um, the armor that Kix wears, mm -hmm. does it look like it was made in Greyhawk? Well, uh, yes. I'm pretty sure it was, yeah. Okay, and then if that case, I would probably be, what my new character would probably be watching as they leave, mm -hmm. noticing that armor and taking a greater interest. Okay. Mm. So uh, I'm going to put you, I'm gonna, it's going to be the same character, but you know, it's going to be one of the other priestess because there's more. Yeah. So I'm going to try to put everybody outside. Marika, do you see them coming? Are you going to be there or are you going to follow them stealthily? Effectively, I'm going to shadow them, but be ahead of them and just try and dodge. Sneak so back gonna, out before they yeah, leave, yeah, right? Yeah. So yeah, I'm going to put everybody... Chance, uh, whatever. Out. The bodies are still here. Yeah. Um, the torch, uh, we don't... I'm right, going to keep the torches in case. But Also, when my token comes in, um, I will require 120 feet of dark vision. Okay. Uh, who else? Gar... <laughs> <laughs> I would uh, love one. 
And only green M&Ms. God help you if there's a red M&M in there. Gar, you are eventually in your hiding spot, and you're dragged out. But man, I'm not, uh, not like I chose to be hiding. I'm just unconscious. Yeah. yeah I'm just unconscious. Uh, Things have not difference. gone well for me today. Big difference. And Leo, you're seeing that... Um, well, you're still in... What are you here? Let's say that you're hiding in the... Watching what's happening. I'm, a, I'm waiting for people to come out. Uh, yeah. You see, see kicks, kicks. Gar, Gar is actually being carried. Barricades. Gar is also 600 pounds, so fun times yeah, for those people. Dragged. Yeah, these, these guys are pretty strong. Uh, and they're, they're four of them. I came out first. You yeah. shall move. You like slide, slide down, right? Barricade um, came out first. And well, Lail they're came carrying out first. Gar. Yeah, How I well think. is Lail hiding? Uh, I mean, draw your, draw your, uh, you had, you had advantage because you had time to hide. I mean, I'm, I'm asking because well. I may introduce here versus, yeah, no, never mind. I don't yeah, see. It. I don't think anybody can see me right yeah. now. I'm surprisingly close. He's, uh, do I see you? Is that, that's the question. Hell yeah. Let's roll stealth. Yeah. <laughs> um, if that's the case, what you see is a a well built human. He's about five eleven, two eighty ish. Sorry, not two eighty, about one hundred eighty five, hundred ninety, one hundred ninety pounds. Uh blonde hair, bit of a beard, has scars on his face. I don't believe I'm in armor. No, I'm in leather armor. But I don't really have much by the way of weaponry. I just have a couple daggers. And a light hammer. Yeah, you re you when you see the lizard men come out, they're slumming and they 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 have a guy who has chains on them sort of controlling. Them. Uh but they bring them out as well. Um, you would probably also notice a book hanging from my hanging from my side that looks very ornate. How to serve man. Good food. Um, is it? Uh, uh, can I recognize the book at all? Like, I'm assuming I see him without him seeing me. Yeah. Yeah. Um. I I, I say you'll be up to the GM what you recognize, but it's uh, it's it's my book for uh, Pact of the Tome. Oh God. Okay. He's a warlock. Oh boy. From one yeah. pet class to the next. <laughs> I'm gonna be the warlock. <laughs> so we're all um up top. Please tell me your name is Julian. It is not. Let's say Bar had it's they put you somewhere around here, so you're probably hiding as well, uh, or trying to anyway. Well, I'm sure when oh. Justin jumps into the pit, he knows how much he, loot he gets. I don't think I'm on the same map. <laughs> I neither oh, do I. Here. Yeah, I don't see anything either. I'm like I can see Barricat, the... uh, Barricat and Kicks, but that's it. There we go. There we hey. go. Now I'm in the fun water slide, not the death trip that I just took. Oh, kicks. Oh, man. Yeah. All right. Uh, so, uh, oh, there's another one of me, too. Yeah, so this, this one has the actual hit points that you have, so. Yeah. All right. This map um, is so confusing. Yeah, because there's so much stuff uh, that I didn't Can expect. Can all the dead bodies? Uh, uh, Verloys wouldn't be there, then. If this is happening, Yeah. Verloys would have exited. Hey, it's my old friend Olibrin. Right where I left him. Well, I probably just would have told Verlois to to meet me at the top. And uh, if he's not there, he's not there. Oh no! Like, he, oh no! So he he would have been waiting at the top, but hiding, seeing yeah. this, he would have got gotten out of there. Uh, he, so he disobeyed his last order. Perfect. No, because he's not. He knows he could not defend from that. And like being guided, yeah, he's got high enough intelligence to know when he's beat. Yeah, guide Bearcat into the jungle. Bearcat never reached the jungle, or at least yep. ran away. True. My skeletons would never do that shit. They'd fight to the end for you. You have three I mean, skeletons right now. <clears throat> well, no, oh, yeah, they're left uh, behind. They're just gonna go wild down there and damn, yeah, we'll know what. After a few hours, Gar, you do wake up. But, you know, you were sort of 
going in out of consciousness until you finally wake up. Like you're also yeah. re real constipated because you ate twelve days worth of good, uh, nine days worth of goodberry. And not that constipated. I'm a six hundred pound turtle. I digest my food in different <laughs> ways than you normal people. Do um, you still have the hand? He does not. I have one hand. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, you could. You still have a chance to. No, fuck it. If you're if you're gonna suggest, hey, the candy you cut off, no, I'm gonna remember for the rest of my days what I did. Okay. <laughs> Actions is, have this consequence. Is, this is sounding yeah. very familiar, isn't it? Yeah. Well, no. I mean, I also have another cool idea. Is that I'm gonna take one of the skeletal things, I'm gonna mm -hmm. plop it in there and use one of my uh, uses of animate dead to maintain control. To have an animated <laughs> skeletal hand that I'm just gonna have in a glove. Yeah, it's gonna be my Luke Skywalker Darth Vader hand. See, <laughs> I'm kind of hoping you'll embrace it because I still have my left hand. You have your right hand. Together, we are both two-handed. Yeah, we'll do the Mecha Shiva. All right. So I don't even know what the fuck that is, but okay. So Barricad is here, Lail is here, and they are in front of me right now. Correct. Or is Barricat still hiding and Lail hiding? I'm hiding. I see this human. He looks a little shady. He looks like he's really struggling to hide. Um, yeah, I'm hiding. Yeah. Um, just to add to it, uh, the bushes over here. his clothing looks like it was very nice at one point. Hmm. I'll go ahead and like look around, probably look at the, uh, the Acolyte who they've sent with us and go... I don't see the others around here. I guess they made it off then. Hmm. We'll have to wait, or you have to go along with your turtle companion, I suppose. Can we hear that being said? Yeah. Oh, if that's the case, I'm going to walk out. Okay. Yeah, if that's being said, I'm going to walk out. Because I'm not going to let let them go alone anywhere. So I'll drag my token out. Uh, and place me wherever I would be walking. Hey, we're walking over here. Okay. Are they uh, in that in case, common? Uh, let me see what languages I have. Because I, I do have quite a few. Uh, yes, it would be in common. Cool. If you're going to send this one to do something dangerous, I'm not letting, I'm not, I'm not letting him go with, 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 with just the two of them. He looks at you. He looked at you like, uh, you know I've escaped and you know I've been a problem. He gets me out of your hair, hair sooner. The slippery one. And she laughs when, hey, when, when she says that. Yeah, that's a pun right there. Uh, so you wish to finally confront your death? <laughs> Fine, Jim. Ah. Uh, all right, I'll walk up and I will. I will give a nice, st strong handshake. Pleasure to meet you. My name is Marcus Klein Ollivander. I'm originally from Greyhawk. It's been some time since I've been there, but I don't wish to see you dead. 